welcome to the podcast, the vodcast, the broadcast. Boys and girls, welcome to the show. This is Convincing Idiots. I'm Dean. I'm Brian. And as you can tell, there is no Nick today. Um, what has happened is Nick is indisposed. Um, yeah, he had the I, answer to a millennial Santa Claus, I think, Dean. That's, he did. Uh, that's where he last, last He's left being, him, yeah. Is he being punished by millennial Santa Claus is the question. I think he... I think he was in line to see him, so it's like a whole. So he's still social, waiting in line. Like there's a line of well, children. It's and social he, distance. It's, it's the line's quite long. You yeah, know. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So you have to talk about your favorite uh, character from, uh, you know, Riverdale, stuff like that. I don't know. It's a whole thing to get in there. I don't know, but. Now I'm, I'm assuming whatever words you just said was was based from your knowledge of what your daughter has <laughs> yeah, is watching right. or has told you. That's right. That's right. Because I don't know what you're talking about. Nick River, Nick would. He would. R- Riverdale is like the uh, it's a modern take on the Archies. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I think I have seen that uh, once or mm-hmm. twice. I guess it's supposed right. to be pretty good. Yeah, my daughter does like it. But it, it's interesting you think about some of those things around the, the pitch table, you know. Hey, how about this? Everybody loves the Archies. Who the Ar- doesn't like the Archies? 1960s, 70s reruns, modern take of the Archies. Archie Comics. Oh, I, w- I, I thought you were going to go Archie Bunker. I no, like, no, no. I love Archie Bunker. Meathead. No, no. No, no, this Jughead. So you know, Jughead. You know, okay, you know we're close. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So they used to be in the bubblegum wrappers, right? Uh, uh, you're thinking of maybe Bazooka Joe. Really, Archie wasn't in the. I don't wow. think so. It was like a. It's a. It's still a comic book to this day, and then they had a cartoon series in the '60s, and but yeah it's a modern take of the of the archies we're talking a lot about riverdale here <laughs> we really are especially yeah. with no millennial no uh, millennial here. nick would be proud he as would. my daughter yeah hi peyton well well the the reason uh, we actually because nick is indisposed whether mm-hmm. he's out with santa or i heard he might be uh high fluting out there with in hollywood maybe i don't know yeah. you know yeah we haven't heard yeah, but uh, yeah. we got these new. If you notice the audio and obviously the visual, uh, mm-hmm. we have these shiny new microphones and headsets. Uh, we wanted to try them out, so uh, we thought we would get together real quick, chat a little bit for you guys, and uh, see how it sounds. That's right. Uh, actual actual courtesy of Millennial Santa. Oddly, the, that the, is these true. were delivered to our homes, uh, addressed from Millennial Santa. Yeah, my, talked about mine. My uh, my headphones came with a latte. Yes. Yeah, it was very nice. Yes. Very pleasant. Yes. yes, very good. Yeah, mine was a double espresso uh, with a shot of uh, uh, cream or something to that effect. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was it was quite good, quite good. Gave me a nice charge right, right before this uh, this episode here. Yeah. So, but yeah, you can, uh, you can tell ahead. what sort of, you could you could tell what sort of uh, what generation we are because we struggled to think of like some sort of weird drink. <laughs> Other than just black coffee, <laughs> we're used to drinking black coffee and soup. Is there a better lunch than black coffee and soup? I still, when I pull up, do you get you're going to go to, go to Starbucks and I get stressed out still because I still can't get together. Is venti or grande? Which one is bigger? I still, t- I tell them, I, I tell them large, and she goes, "Well, I go." Give me the largest cup you have. Which is what? Venti? I think it's Venti. I really don't know. I, yeah. I think I think it might be. I always get at that menu it stresses me out. Every time I pull up there. I'm like, I see something nice and fancy, I just I get it. But all the give me shot, double this, uh, no, I, I you're right. I'm way, yeah. way out of that. that give meat. me the largest cup you have. hmm Fill it with black coffee. Yes. Yeah. And these expensive cups of coffee, uh, coffee in general, these kids today. No, I'm kidding. So, so last week, Dean, we talked about uh, uh, we had our Christmas episode. Yeah, I thought I thought it uh, came off well. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I sounded bitter and angry. 
you know, like usual. So I thought that very was very Christmassy. Good. Yeah, very Christmassy. Very, that's right. <laughs> Celebrating uh, Scrooge and you know, those types of characters. For that's sure. right. Yeah. So today we're having, uh, like I said, this is sort of just a, a test and, you know, we'll see what we come up with here. But we're both enjoying a holiday ale. I'm doing uh, 12 Dogs of Christmas yeah. from uh, Thirsty Dog. That's out of Cleveland, right? Uh, um, I believe. Is it Cleveland or Akron? I think yeah, probably Cleveland. Thirsty Dog is Akron, I believe. I think you are correct. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, you are right. Downtown Akron, that's a nice place if you're in northeast Ohio and stop in and you can do that safely there. I'm having a Line and Kugel Snowdrift Vanilla Porter, one of my favorites. Line and Kugel Brewery out of, I think it's uh, Wisconsin, if I'm not mistaken. To me, that, that yes. Snowdrift. That snowdrift porter uh, is mm. like the uh, it's to, to me that's the beer of the uh, winter so far. Mm. I'm a huge I'm a huge fan. Yeah, so we we were talking about that off camera about you know what are some of our favorite uh, winter consumption. You know, which would be could be ales, it could be you know foods, candies, you know whatever. You know, so. Kind of to piggyback off our Christmas episode, which go back and check that out, by the way. It's uh, You can find that on our all of our platforms, and we'll talk about that at the end of this, where you can find all that stuff. But So, you know, we talked about beer. So we, so some of your favorite uh, winter beers, Dean. So you, the, the Snowdrift, the Porter, is that your uh, ultimate, since, or is there something else? Well, I think just for this, uh, simply just for this uh, winter so far, because mm-hmm. I, it's the first time I've heard about it. You know, mm-hmm. I, just, I just found it this winter, so... Um, I think in general, um, you have, uh, especially in the Northeast Ohio area where where we're at, Mm -hmm. um, Great Lakes Brewery, their Christmas ale is is up on top. Now, that is like the, uh, one of the premium winter ales there for the Christmas. Yeah, it's not, uh, not the cheapest. No, no, it's not. But it definitely... Tastes like Christmas time, if you will. So, it does. which is, yeah, spicy. You have a few of those, and you feel very warm and glowing. And maybe it might warm your like jingle bells. Grinch. Yeah, like yeah, your jingle bells, right? I That's was also right. trying to think about you know that scene of the Grinch <laughs> when his heart expands, right? Breaks breaks the magnifying glass. You have to you have like uh, three uh, Christmas sales. It sort of begins See, to my- have that same effect on your cold, uh, your cold, cold heart. Small yeah, heart. I'm way too grinchy, so a mm. few of the Christmas ales and my jingle bells is what gets bigger and bigger. So <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it works though, and it works for me. Um, actually, we have a couple uh, local breweries, uh, mm. like uh, uh, Magic City Brewery. There mm-hmm. uh, was it Aunt Marge. There, it's a it's their Christmas uh, ale. I have it, not had that. It is like a uh, it is like a liquid Christmas cookie in your mouth. It is quite delicious. Mm. And then you have Ignite the Lights, Ignite Brewery, downtown Barberton. Um, yes, their Christmas uh, ale is mm, top notch. Yeah, v- yeah, one of my favorites in the area, that's for sure. So some uh, free uh, publicity there. So a yeah, local Barberton uh, graduate. Uh, Right, Dean. We right. actually may shoot there at some point when we're able to do that more safely. Yeah, we're and hoping do some on-location shots there. But shout out to uh, Mike Chisnell. Mm-hmm. Thank uh, you, Mike. Mike's a fan on the page. Thanks, Mike. He's giving us some right. comment here. Some of the best in town locally. Uh, Hop and Frog Brewery has a great uh, Christmas ale. Yes. Uh, I think it's uh, fr- Frosted Frog is what it's called. It, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely one of the best in town, and then. Um, Missing Mount, no, Missing Falls, excuse me, Missing Falls in downtown Akron. I don't believe I've uh, had that. Yeah, it's uh, right downtown by the Gojo plant there and stuff. We're talking like as if everybody knows where we, I guess if you're <laughs> right. you, know, well, you know what we're talking about. You would not know what we're talking about if you're listening to us on podcast. But uh, but, if, but if you come but, into the Northeast Ohio area, come check them out. Yeah, absolutely. My buddy uh, Cooper was saying that that's, uh, they have like a Cocoa Pebbles coffee porter at missing falls it's supposed to be quite good so yeah what yes what yes yeah cocoa, uh, like a cocoa porter basically yeah yep looks like i know where i'm going uh, yeah. this weekend so definitely the winter is more of like the porter the darker the darker heavier 
beers. Now, now the question to you is, is that your favorite uh, season for beer? Because, uh, you know, you have the summer, you have the sh- mm-hmm. summer shanties, um, mm-hmm. you know, lighter beers. See, to me, fall and winter, yes. that's, where it's at, that's where it's at for me for the beer. Like, I yeah. think any... Any style of beer, I think, to me, Oktoberfest is going to be my favorite. You know, you give me a good, solid Oktoberfest that you know, because it's not too, it's not too thick, it's not yeah. too, um, not too heavy, just yeah. a good, solid beer. I, I'm with you. I, I prefer the. Uh, and I, I don't. I guess that's why they make them seasonally more. But uh, yeah, in the, the warmer weather, I'm not as privy to sit down and have a heavier porter beer. But that change in the temperature, the Christmas and the crispness of the air, yeah. the whole feeling of the season, the nice porter definitely. Uh, it just gets me more in the mood. So any other, any other like beyond the local brews that you know people outside of Northeast Ohio and the Akron area just would not have any idea what the hell we're talking about here. But any well, other then, like brand you have, names? You have National right now. What I'm about to open here is uh, Sam Adams Limited Release Winter Lager. Yeah, it's not exactly their Christmas ale, but. Uh, it's a damn fine, refreshing beer. Yeah, it's a nice simple. It's a lighter porter with uh, light spices. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites as well. Yeah, I like their annual holiday pack that they put out. So you get some yes. beers there that you can't find. Their chocolate normally. box. Chocolate box you only get in that porter or that yep. uh, that holiday pack. Yep. And also uh, the uh, holiday porter, I believe, is what it is as well. That comes with that. My lighting got messed up here because my uh, laptop uh, went into sleep mode. There, there we go. So you got to get the, you got to please the fans and get the full lighting on the face here. You know, lighting, lighting of the beard. You know, like, see, I thought you said my lady got messed up. No, no. I thought I thought you were dating some girl virtually and where, where you have to, where she's, you know, she's well, real to you. But you well, know, I, us, I, it's just I a was. I was. It was a nice girl from Canada who did exist. Okay. And I, allegedly she was, you know, was a female, you know. Without so never start. Yeah. Never saw a picture. Just, I mean, uh, if, the, to, if it was a if it was a dude, you know, to each mm-hmm. his own, you know, and nothing wrong yep. with that. Took her word for it. But fortunately, I found a lovely uh, Allie, and you know, she's tolerated me in a sense. But okay, so any other? Uh, well, and well, ahead. the beauty about having Allie, you know, be there in in the home rather than just online is. Uh, it's easier. It, let me just say it, it's it's probably a little rougher to to put things in the uh, 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 floppy disk drive, you know. Right. Yes. Yes. Boy, much, I, much, did I did I just date myself on the fucking computer? The floppy. It's the floppy, floppy disk, disk. The floppy drive. disk drive. Yeah. Jesus. Yep. <laughs> yes, indeed. Nice. Uh, 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 early nineties reference. Probably. That's right. Late, that's right. Late eighties. Whatever. I'm an old hack. <laughs> All right, so any other commercial beers? Oh, we, we talked about off camera. Shiner Cheer. It's like a nice, yes, yes, uh, yes peachy, yes. peachy. It's a crisper, lighter ale. But it has that hint of like good. nutmeg and you know, mm-hmm. the kind of holiday seasoning to it. Yeah, yeah. And it's okay. uh, price wise, you know, that's it's going to be a, a quick pickup compared mm-hmm. to you know the twelve to thirteen ninety nine, you know, type situation that you might get with a uh, Great Lakes or whatnot. Yeah, one thing I definitely miss with the COVID this year is, you know, each year we've done um, last few years. My birthday is around Christmas time, mm-hmm. and so we've done like a little. You know, it was, well, sometimes you've hosted them too, Dean, but like a nice winter beer tasting event is. Uh, yes. You know. Yeah. Maybe not this year, but hopefully we'll get to do that soon. Right. But, all right. So we talked about ales, talked about beers. What else? What are the types of beverages, Dean, is some of your favorite for wintery, holiday-y, any other you know, adult drinks or uh, well, non-adult drinks or what? I can tell you this. Something, actually, I'll go the opposite route. Mm-hmm. I have never had eggnog. What? I've never had eggnog. Never any f- version of eggnog? No version of eggnog. I wow. don't know what it... It, j- it sounds... You know, not appealing to me. Um, even if you put alcohol in it, it still s- sounds like uh, I don't know. For, when I was a kid, 
I used to have this image that eggnog had something, you know how Rocky used to take the, the, the raw yeah. eggs and yeah. for some reason in my mind that it, that's a, the starting point of eggnog and that never, mm. I know I'm probably wrong, but I'm just telling you as yeah. a, as a child, that's where my head was. It is a thicker, creamier beverage. That's for sure. I, I you know, for years I thought Christmas time as an adult, what that's, what you're supposed to do as an adult is have eggnog with alcohol in it. Right. I don't know that I did that until last year. I'm like, I'm, I am going to stop what I'm doing here, get some actual eggnog. I think I had bourbon. There's different, you know, alcohols you could mix with it. Sure. And just, I did maybe a half and half or whatever it was. I'm sure I had too more, too much uh, bourbon compared, but it was good. First of all, there's no such thing. There's too much bourbon. Yeah, you're probably right. So do that this year. That's a fine way to introduce yourself to eggnog. It's not something that I would want to drink all the time, but holiday wise, yes, absolutely. Matter of fact, I'll I have egg, I have eggnog ice cream in the freezer right now. It's eggnog hmm. flavored ice cream by uh, Turkey Hill, which is uh, quite good. I'd like to get that every season as well. It's one of my consumables right there. There you go. There you go. Well, yeah. Well, it's, we'll, <clears throat> we'll we'll even skip ahead to uh, what we normally do at the end. Uh, end of the show. I'll mm-hmm. say that uh, you've convinced me that I'm gonna try eggnog this year. Sometime or another, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go try eggnog. Yeah. Bur- oh, look look up different dr- ways to do it. But uh, like I said, I think I just had maybe it was I think it was just like I said, bourbon and eggnog. That's it. Go ahead. What are you gonna say? I this has nothing to do with <clears throat> the Christmas or mm-hmm. holidays or whatever. But it just okay. made me think of it. Um, mm-hmm. we we're talking about bourbon. Um, mm-hmm. At the Crafted Cocktail uh, in Wadsworth, mm-hmm. Ohio, you've been there, correct? I've not yet. We talked. We plan oh, on going. Boy. Yeah, we, but uh, yeah, they we, have four of a, us plan to go. But yeah, they have a bourbon section, right, of the mixed mm-hmm. drinks, and there yep. is a tobacco smoked bourbon mm. drink. Oh my God! Yeah, we got to get there, man. That sounds wintry. Yeah, it, it, it's fantastic. Yeah, I had it a couple weeks ago. Yeah, once again, had nothing to do with it, but it just it came to mind, so I I had to bring it up there. No, that's good. That's yeah, a nice, you'll, that's you'll a nice that. wintry thing. Yeah. Yeah, right, so a lot of. Some, sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say a lot of their drinks they set on fire, and mm-hmm. it's it's a whole gamut of things. So. Okay, my one thing is baked goods. Mm. What is your go-to like? You know, families all together. You have the one table that has the hams and the turkeys and the. What is your go-to for the baked good table? What are, what are you looking for? One of my favorite uh, Christmassy cookie uh, uh, Buckeyes. You know, the holiday Buckeyes. So that's the uh, oh, peanut butter yeah. and the chocolate the combination. They look like yep. actual uh, Buckeyes. Right. Man, I, last year, uh, my dear friends, uh, Annie uh, Cunningham, so my buddy Jim's one of his twin sisters, uh, uh, made her, found her mom's, I think it was her mom's recipe. Yeah, her mom's recipe for those and gave me a big batch for my birthday. So, so homemade yeah. Buckeyes. Homemade. That was oh. one of the best birthday gifts I had last year. For when it was, Hell yeah, yeah, from their from their mom who has passed on, bless her heart. But uh, yeah, that was deli- That's one. Of, it's probably my favorite these days. I like the snowball cookies. The um, I like the uh, the the peanut butters with the Hershey Kisses uh, dipped down in the center. Yes, just like the one big kiss that's just yeah. stuck in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's um, not real easy to eat, especially once they get harder. You have to kind of bite halfway to the side, to, but it's still worth it. Once again, anything chocolate and peanut butter works. The, you know, growing up, I I don't I, I won't remember the brand name, but there were these sugar cookies. That would come in this round, like a tub, right? Like was a it, plastic, like a plastic tub. What, it was wasn't it, the blue tin, was it? No, with, it was with like, the little paper things with the with all the shitty cookies and the paper no, things. No. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know blue, what you're talking blue about. Blue tin, yeah. Nah, I'm not as keen on that. I'm those, not either. You know, I don't know. It's I don't know. But this was like a ah uh, this. Again, this is my era growing up here, but it was like a Christmassy thing every year. It was like a white tub with a red lid or something like that. You was you know, would lift the whole thing up, and it was these 
you know, stars and just traditional shaped oh, sugar cookies. And, it, and like the, did it have kind of like a look like maybe a snowing or snow on the outside? I feel like that's probably right. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, these every year somebody would get those. My parents or my grandparents or somebody. I would dive into those, and I don't know that they make them anymore. I don't see them in the stores. I don't remember what the brand name was, but if anybody's around my age, Gen X, you know, 50 years, you probably had these as a kid somewhere growing up. So, yeah, and I, you know, I do like the, I do miss uh, the making of the Christmas. Have you done that with Carter with your, with your young son making Christmas cookies and stuff, or he's not into that stuff? Mm, um, No, I, 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 I don't know how to. I can make brownies from a box. No, just just stop right there. All you all you have to do is, and we did this for years with Peyton and I, just get yourself the Pillsbury cookie oh, roll. Just cut them and that's it. Put them on the thing. Okay, that's it. Just get yourself some cutters, cut them yeah. out, get the sprinkles, bake them, easy done. Do that. I mean, get yourself some you know flour and stuff for the rolling and all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? But right. So so simple, so okay. inexpensive, and those cookies are delicious. So that's a nice little tradition that Peyton and I, you know, I didn't necessarily love. The, well, the cookies were good. I take that back. The cookies were sure. good, but it was more of the tradition of, you know, making them and playing the Christmas music and stuff like that. So right. Yeah, you know, that whole experience was definitely something. Yeah, I mean, we do the, him and I do the, the you know, the decorating the tree uh, and mm-hmm. whatnot, you know, that whole tradition thing. That's good. Put on Christmas music and. That's the right, right way to do it. I should do some of the baking, I guess. Do that this more, year. It's more of a, well, that I know that him and his mom do that also. Yeah. It's kind of their thing. And You're not trying to horn in on it. Just, you know, he's, what's wrong with extra cookies, you know? You, yeah. you, obviously it you can't go wrong you know yeah and you can make your own shapes even and stuff like that anyhow so well, baked goods go ahead go ahead well you you talked about the tins or mm-hmm. the, the the tubs mm-hmm. how about the uh the three popcorn tins <sighs> the the go-to when you don't know what to get a teenage boy you get boy. Them the three popcorn tins and try to find the closest thing of the whatever image on the outside of the tins would be football or whatnot it's with the shitty popcorn of you know regular popcorn <laughs> cheddar and then the caramel corn and obviously three months from now the regular popcorn's still there it now is that one of the top worst gifts of all time to get or well, is it know, like it's the popcorn's good but does it does it, does it smell like I have no idea what to get you, and or you're not worth well, the effort. I'm I'm here at Walgreens. I will I'm tell grab you what, this tin for you. <laughs> I will tell you why I don't find it that bad because of this. Uh huh. They make great little trash cans when you're done. <laughs> yes. Next have to my nice, hair, nice Cleveland, Cleveland Browns, Browns uh, tin there. That's, that's right. That that had the popcorn in it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so. Yeah, it's like it's like my uh, it's the equivalent of a basketball or a football from my grandmother. She would get us every year. <laughs> Excuse me. One thing we're going to find out real quick is mm. normally, you know, when we have some beers while we're doing this, mm. the phone used to be away from me so I could lean back and burp. Now this <laughs> microphone's right here. So I apologize yeah. if everybody just heard that. That's right. But, you got to pick you got to pick everything up. That's right. So yeah, my grandmother. I mean, she didn't know what to get teenage boys. She had all girls, and so every single year, yeah. I had a stack of footballs mm-hmm. because she didn't know anything else to get. I mean, it was fine. I mean, I didn't know football from a hole in the wall. So, I mean, I could. I liked watching it, and and I enjoy all that. But playing it, I don't know if you can tell by my you know man like godly physique, but. Mm-hmm. I'm not exactly the most most athletic person. Yeah. Hence, we, hence we do a nerd podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not our forte of playing <laughs> sports. Although we are going to do a sports rivalries coming up here, Nick's idea. So we are going to yes. do that coming up here in a future episode here. But, I'm looking uh, forward to that. Yeah, that'll be fun. All right. So yeah, okay. So you got the tin. You know, somewhere along that line too, you got the. Uh, 
was it the is it, is it I'm going to say it the wrong name is it Whitman the Whitman sampler the candy the, oh yeah 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 I almost said Werther's but Werther's is the butterscotch Whit, thing it's Whitman's. the Whitman sampler right you you get the chocolate you get the caramel and then if you're ever so lucky you get toothpaste yeah and you got like yep. the uh, the uh, roadmap of uh, trying to follow which and the lid, what is right. what? And I, I never would read it correctly. And I always grab like a coconut one or something like that. Pretty popular holiday gift. There, the, the, the treasure for me was the in the very middle. You had the 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 Whitman delivery man, solid chocolate. I don't know if you remember that or not. That was like the for me. That was like the grand prize of the Whitman. See, I, like uh, the, I like the caramel ones. Yeah. Well, I haven't had one of those in a while. All right, so oh we God. talked about. Go ahead. Like you said, like, you, you, yeah. You'd always end up in toothpaste as the shitty ones that had like the the weird cream that you don't know the flavor of, and it, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so we are. Um. Uh, we're about twenty five minutes in, so we, we could you want to take a break and then come back with candies, or just keep it going. Well, how you how you how you feeling here? We could take a break real quick. Uh, Give everybody a little interlude, and we yeah. can. Uh, yeah, well, I don't, like, wait, want, no, I don't want to drop the fourth wall or anything, but you know, I could take a piss. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we weren't sure how long this was going to go. We just thought, yeah, hey, let's just kind of see where it goes, and it's going a little bit longer than we thought. So we're going to take a nice little break and uh, enjoy some uh, winter consumables and uh, release and, some wintry uh, and, bodily things, and then we'll be back here in a and few refill. Minutes. And refill the uh, Sam them. Adams winter. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. All right. We'll be back uh, in a few moments. It'll be just like Christmas magic. It'll just be seconds for you guys. Or you can just uh, follow the next video if you keep on scrolling. So we'll talk That's to you right. in a minute. 